I've heard a few people saying Connor's got to be careful not to look past um, Seaver. And as Connor said, he's not looking past him, he's looking through him. But what I would say is every fighter looks past their opponent in terms of when you're doing an interview and you're asked a question, hey, what do you think if you win this guy and you're going to face him? Well, you've got to give an answer. You've got to, you've got to at least be thinking that way. Now, that's not to say that when we're in the gym, we're skipping a session because, well, this guy requires 70% of your energy. Or let's, let's not prepare for this opponent, let's start preparing for the next opponent. That's not how it is. So the physical side of things hasn't changed at all. Every minute of every day, whether he's in the gym or at home, he's preparing for his, his, his opponent. And then, of course, if it comes up in an interview and you say, well, look, it's, it's looking like you might get a title fight, well, you've, you've got to give some sort, sort of response. So, um, no, the, the, the preparation hasn't changed at all. Whether it's three rounds or five rounds, my fighter's going to go in 100% uh, fit, ready for all, all eventualities. Um, if Dennis happens to pull out today and Cub Swanson steps in, we're ready for that. So they're, they're, we're prepared as, as best as we possibly can. And uh, not, looking, not looking through the next opponent. Physically, when we're in the gym, we're always getting ready for this opponent.